Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Witches and Wonders. This is my show about great products from small companies. Now today, I'm gonna take a look at a custom terrain company called Four Guys and a Broken Dwarf. Um, Jaron and Momo are doing a uh, sort of like sustainability project. And while there's lots of people doing custom terrain out there, my good from Adam Greenleaf, of course, doing it, uh, they're doing it with an eye to sustainability. So they're trying to use all recycled, um, thrown away, or either like super cheaply made of uh, products like glue and stuff like that, uh, and their paint to make terrain. Um, and I thought that was kind of a cool idea. Uh, obviously tons of custom terrain companies, uh, not companies, but like, you know, artists and stuff out there. Uh, but one with an eye to like trying to do stuff sustainably, I thought was kind of a neat thing and deserved a feature just because it's a cool idea. And it's something that I thought was just, you know, worth a shout out to. So uh, I'm going to link everything, all their contact and stuff in the video description below, but we'll take a look at it. They made me a little care package of 20 pieces of sort of post-apocalyptic or like dystopian terrain. Uh, and yeah, and it's, it's, it's really cool. So <laughs> it's got some unique ideas, some stuff that I wasn't expecting to see made out of like uh, recycled or like thrown away products. And of course, just some stuff inspired by whatever the sort of thing was that was thrown out, um, like energy generators and stuff like that. So I got some fallout miniatures here so you can see the scale of it put together. So these are some Modiphius miniatures that I painted up. Um, and yeah, we'll give it a look right now. So let's take a look at 20 pieces of terrain from uh, Three Guys and a Broken Dwarf. And so here it is, my little bespoke care package um, of handmade uh, terrain made from like, sort of like thrown away, recyclable and um, garbage materials. Uh, and it's really neat. I, I especially like, so this was just kind of like some generic stuff, some walls, some ruined walls here. And they've been done with um, like insulation foam. And then these look like they're uh, tongue depressors. So they've left the bottoms here on paint just to show them off and then filled with like a hard filler. Uh, to kind of seal the edges and make them a little more durable, which I really like. Um, these can be lined up to make like the footprints of ruins or whatever, and they've just kind of done a, a sort of like a um, generic bunch of like sort of wall sections, which I thought was cool. Even stripping the sides off some of it to make like the, the sort of like concrete exposure. Uh, they've used some um, plastic tubing, some straws and stuff here to make some some like some pallets of like uh, big PVA or PVC tubing. So if you see, you know, the road workers and stuff that are laying water pipe or, um, you know, drainage and stuff like that. Those are really off on the side of the road. I thought those were neat. And then just wrapping some like boxes and containers. These look like wooden blocks have been wrapped in glue and um, it, some type of paper sheeting or maybe even fabric uh, to create like a big pallet. Uh, this sort of just, like interesting piece of trash was used to make a, uh, an energy generator. And they used some corrugated cardboard. This is a classic, of course, corrugated cardboard to make shipping containers. Um, and shipping container doors. And then this was neat. It looks like uh, maybe like an airbait clay or a Fimo and then some um, wadding here uh, done up to make garbage bags to make like a pile of like, old mattresses and a couch, which I thought was really cool. And then just literally folding up cardboard uh, and covering it in glue to make it hard to make like a big thing of um, throwing away cardboard boxes. And it's all to scale. It's all nicely done to scale with my fallout stuff. Uh, and and it's just it's cool like it's it's really nicely done for for being like handmade terrain uh, And I love the fact that they did it all with recycled materials in mind You know what I mean? Obviously a lot of people making uh, train of what they can find and stuff uh, at home and That's like that's like the classic way of making train before people made train But that being like the, the goal of the project I think is super cool And over here these are my two favorite pieces two just big road signs and I can see myself using these all the time um, a classic trope in like post apocalyptic yeah, like this one the first time is a spring construction and then like an arbor stat I thought that was really really cool uh, and they've got some platforms on them too it looks like they've been made with um, just like a heavy card or maybe it's a, a, a foam that's been sealed they've got some wall filler there uh, to, to sort of like give it a texture I might actually static grass it and stuff too just to give it a little more a little more detail and then using it looks like some um, some chicken fence or some wire fence or whatever uh, and some screening to do uh, the texture on top so really well done. Uh, the back's really cool too. It looks like just dowel they've used. They've used some, some plastic or wooden dowel, uh, or they might even just be like skewers or pencils or something that was thrown away, chopsticks, uh, to create the uh, telephone poles that everything's mounted on. So really cool. I'm really excited about this. Again, if you're looking for some custom train maker, I, I think they just do like job lots of train too that you can see them post. And then if somebody wants to grab them, they can uh, from four guys in Brooklyn Dwarf. So you got another Witches and Wonders done and on the books. Uh, another great product from a small company. Now, if you know of a great product from a small company you think deserves more attention, you can have them email me at girlminiaturegames at gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement into the streets and I'll put it in front of as many people as possible. So we'll see you next time uh, for another Witches and Wonders. Till the match. Happy Halloween. 
I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.